Welcome to Regeneration. I'm Coach Clinton. Today we're going to be going through some really good movements just to help us move a little better and wake things up. Uh, I like to start today with a good little tip of the day. Uh, I did not write this, so I don't think that I wrote this. I found it online and I really liked it, so I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, I did try to color code it a little bit. It's hard to do with the markers I have. But our motivation to keep going, exercise to be fit, not skinny, eat to nourish your body, not just fill time, and always ignore the haters, doubters, and unhealthy examples that were once feeding you. I feel like that is just kind of all those tips we've been working on rolled into one quick little saying. Um, I'm going to have a picture of this, or I might even save this one and post it up for myself to remind myself that that's why we eat is to nourish our body. We don't eat just to eat Whoppers, even though I love Whoppers. See, there's another one of those good little insights into your coach. Exercise. Don't just do it because you have to do it because you want to. This class is to help us move better. That's what it's here for. So look at it that way. Change your mindset. It's not just sweating. It's about learning how to move properly. And then ignore all the crap, all the negative, or use it to your advantage, but ignore it mostly, right? Don't just let it beat you down. Use that to make yourself better or ignore it totally and just feel better. All right. Anyway, our joke of the day, then we'll get rolling. How do you stop a bull from charging? And as you can see, he's saying charge it. Thanks, Lucas, for coloring that in for us. Always nice to have you do that so then I don't have to try to stay in the lines because you know I can't. All right, let's get rolling. We're actually going to start up on our feet. Uh, my mini band actually broke yesterday, so I don't have one right now. I need to dig another one out of my stuff that's hiding. Uh, but go ahead and put your mini band up at your knees. So about an inch above your knees if you have one. If you don't, you're in luck because I'm going to be demoing without today. So here we go. Good base position. Okay. So I'm slightly seated in the back seat. Nice light bend in my knees. My weight is over the middle of my feet. Now I'm going to come in. And if you have the band, let the band pull you in. Then you're going to come back out over your toes. Just like that. If you don't have a band, what I'm doing is I'm really pulling my leg out like I'm pretending I'm stretching a band. Let's do 10 here. Nice and strong to the right side. Good, now switch to the other side. 10 on the other side. Now there are some of you out there that'll be like, coach, I'll send you one. You don't need to send me one. I have like 30. It's just a matter of finding the ones that Jace and Lucas, my boys, where they take them and not breaking anymore. I bought a whole bunch a long time ago. And if you've ever been in facility, you know those things just tend to break or disappear. All right, now with both, we go out with our knees, come back over our toes. Don't go in with both knees. It puts a lot of pressure on our knees. So we're gonna go out, back over. Just like that, nice. By the way, I counted the recording the other day. I said beautiful, even thinking about it, I said it eight times in the video, eight times. So I'm gonna to try to be better, less beautiful. And good. All right, let's go knee hug to world's greatest. So I'm gonna turn slightly sideways, gonna quarter squat down, grab my knee, come up nice and tall, step it forward into that strider stretch. Elbow goes inside today. So try to drive your elbow down towards your foot, rotate up. Plug those fingers into the sky. You can see my orange palms. Hands go down to the floor. Step up. I'm going to just go ahead and back up. You can turn around. Whatever is best for you. Good knee hug here. Big step forward. Strider stretch. Elbow to instep. Now this time I'm going to rotate away from you so you can't see. My left hand is by far more orange. Hands inside. Step on up. Good, let's do one more each side. Quarter squat back to that first side. Step it out. Big 
step here. Make sure that back knee is not down on the ground. You're driving that heel down towards the floor, making that back leg as straight as possible. Nice and strong. Hands to the inside. Step up. Good. Last one here. Good knee hug. Step forward. Elbow to instep. Rotate up. So it's beautiful and sunny here. So I got the, the sun pouring in the windows. But for those of you that don't know, North Idaho is known for having beautiful outside weather. But as soon as you step outside, you freeze to death. Okay, that's what it's like today. It's not that cold, but it doesn't look like the 90 degree weather that it's showing. It's not, it's cold. So here we go. Now we're gonna work on that single leg RDL. So I'm gonna soften my left leg. Okay, my left leg is my base leg. I'm gonna make my right leg straight like a stick, big chest. I'm gonna put a pretend bar through my hip and I'm gonna hinge where that bar goes through my hip. I'm gonna keep softening that front knee to stay balanced, make myself as long as possible, coming into that flat position. And then I'm gonna come up. We're just gonna do three of these. Here we go, down nice and slow. Remember, hinge at that hip. Pretend you have a bar there. You're pushing your hips to the back of the room. Big chest, heel to the back of the room. Find that balance. We go down as a unit, up as a unit, down. Third one on this side, find that balance, nice and strong. Good. And come up. Good, switching sides. Lock in, soft knee. Use that bar into your hip. Come up nice and slow. Now. You're going to have to remind me, which you can't really do. I'm going to have to remind me down nice and slow that when I don't have a band on, but I want you to have one, if you have one, I need to remind you to take it off. Hopefully you haven't been trying to do these with a band on. That wouldn't be too good. Here we go. Down nice and slow. Last one here. Bad coach. Good and up. Nice and slow, good. Now, my temperature's up a little bit, that's good. Nice and warm. Get your gold, guys, get your gold. Here we go, okay? We're gonna do our drop squat two inch runs, only two times to get started. So starting up on our toes, on go, attack that floor back in that base position. Second go, two inch runs in place, okay? You can just step it out like that. You can go a little faster, it's up to you. Here we go, ready? Two of them all the way up towards the sky. Go, go, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet. And relax, good, all the way up. Go, go, quick feet, make it fast. And relax. All right, grab a quick drink of water. We are going to Get into our movements. I'm going to adjust you just a little bit, make things that much better. So we have some ba banded things today and some unbanded things. Okay. I have unbanded. So if you want to stick with band, that's great. I'll remind you. And if you don't have one, then you're just going to be with me. And here we go. And if you need a link for the bands, let me know because I have it. I'll just send it to you. A couple of you have already asked for it. I sent it to you. So here we go. Okay, banded squats. Bands go back at your knees. We're going to deep squat down. Nice and deep. Keep your knees over your toes. Down nice and low. Drop your hands to the floor. Drive your hips up. Roll up nice and slow. Okay, we have five of those. Go ahead and deep squat down. Make sure if you have a band, at your knee, you're not allowing your knees to collapse in. Keep those knees over your feet. Glue your hands to the floor. Drive those hips up nice and high. Focus on where your feet are placed. Shoulder width, toes pointed forward or slightly turned out. 
okay, down nice and deep. Here's number two, glue those hands, drive those hips up, roll up nice and slow. Good, deep squat, hands down, drive those hips, roll up. Good, make sure you roll up nice and slow so you don't pop up and get dizzy, deep squat. Hands down, roll up. Good, one more. Deep squat. Drop those hands. Good, nice and high, pause here. Stretch those hamstrings just for a second and then roll up. Nice and slow. For those of you that have a band, slide that band down to your ankles, right to your ankles, top of your shoes. Nice and upright today. We are gonna do clockwork, which means I'm gonna tap my toe, stretching my band. Now, if you don't have a band, what you're working on is using your glute to pull your leg each time we do it, okay? Nice and upright, shifting my weight over my base leg, okay? We're gonna go to the side five times, to the front five times, straight back, kick back five times. I will turn sideways when we do front and back, okay? So to the side first, right leg out to the side, reach, and come back, reach, come back. When you have a band, it'll be resisting you. So you're just adding a little extra resistance to your glute. But just like when we did the base activation, if you're doing it right, you have good form. You're still gonna work those glutes really well. Let's reach to the front. Now I'm not leaning back to reach to the front. I'm just reaching out, tapping my toe to the floor, still have a big chest. Nice and upright, good, switch to the back. Now, when I go back, especially those of you that have a band, just reach back, squeeze your glute, come back forward. Do not lean your chest down. Everything straight up and down, nice and tall. One more, good, switching legs. Switch your base leg, here we go. Left leg goes out, nice and slow. Tap your toe. Make sure your weight's shifted, but not lean over. Just shift it. Good. To the front. Tap. Come back. Don't lean. These are really good. You can do these when you're in a meeting at a sit-stand desk, with or without a band. And it just helps kind of wake things up because you're using your powerhouse muscle, which is your glute. You're using your biggest muscle. You're getting some blood flow. It's just gonna help wake you up. Raises your heart rate just a little bit and relax. Good. All right, leave that band down at your ankles if you have it. We're going to a plank position. Now, similar to what we just did, but now we're adding in some core and shoulder stability. We're gonna be locked in right here in that good plank position. Make sure you're creating a little bit of a positive arch. Don't sag your hips. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a kickback. So all I'm gonna do is lift one leg off the ground. I'm gonna lift that leg straight up and down. Now, if you have a band, it's still on your ankles. Again, you're using a little extra resistance on those glutes. Let's do 10 here. And then we'll only do one side this round and we'll do the other side next round. Beautiful, you can leave that band on. Stay in your plank position. We're gonna do nice, slow, negative push-ups. They no up, just down. Five seconds on the way down or as long as you can go down. Here we go, ready? Down, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna drop my knees, come back up into my plank position, lock back in. Down, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and come back up. Now, if you want to push up, that's great. Down, four, three, two, one. Good. Come up. We're working on the strength part of a push up. So that's why we're going negative today. Down, four, three, two, one. Up. Good. Last one. Lock in. Down, four, three, two, one. One, 
and up. Nice work. Now, with the band, you're going to take it to the soles of your feet. Lock in into your dead bug position right here. Arms go up. Now, with the band on your shoe, you're going to stretch that band out and reach for the front of the room. Come back. Don't let it pull your leg down. Let's do five on each side. All core here without, right? We're doing the same thing. Don't allow this leg to drop. Taking one leg out at a time as far as you can. Good core strength. Make sure you're breathing. We got two more. Last one. Reach out and relax. Good, first round is done. Moving into our second and we're right on time. Now round two goes a little quicker. So grab a quick drink of water, bring your band back up to your knees if you're using it, get in your good squat position, shoulder width, toes pointed forward. You're gonna go a little quicker, but don't compromise that roll up. Still come up nice and slow in that roll up when you fly your hips. Otherwise you might get a little lightheaded. Ready? Here we go, deep squat down. Drop those hands and roll up. There's one, good, down. Less cueing this time. Focus on some of those cues we had from last time, right? Deep squat down, glue those hands, drive those hips, roll up nice and slow. Okay, feel where you're feeling these strength movements. Make sure your knees are over your feet. Last one. and roll up nice and slow. Slide that band down to your ankles, down to your ankles, nice and upright. Let's start with the left this round. Left leg to the side, five times. There's two, three, four, and five. Good, to the front, one, two, three, four, five. Good, back. One, don't reach, don't lean. Three, four, five. Use that glute, squeeze your glute at the back, switching legs. Two, three, four, five. Good, to the front. One, two, three, four, five. Now going back, one, Two, three, four, and five. Good. All right, going down into plank position with the kickback. Now I'm doing left leg. Whatever leg that you did last time raising to the ceiling, make sure you switch to the other side. We only did one each round, so lock in. Here we go. I'm going left leg and start. One, two, Three, keep that good positive angle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Stay in that plank position. Negative push ups down. Four, three, two, one. Up, down. Four, three, two, one. Up, down. Four, three, two, one. Good. Try to keep yourself slow. Good form. Okay, shake it out a little bit. Here we go. Last two. Down. Four, three, two, one. Good. Up. Last one. Down. Four, three, two, one. And good. Roll over. Dead bug position. Again, if you have the band, slide it to the midsole of your shoe. Get in your dead bug position, lock that core in, arms go up. Now, if you wanna add a little extra either with or without the band, go opposite arm, opposite leg, right arm overhead, left leg out, switch to the other side. But again, if you have that band, really focus, make sure that that hook side, so the leg that's up is not being taken by the band. Keep it nice and strong. 
If you start feeling it in your back, shorten your legs out a little bit. So maybe keep a little more compact, not as straight of leg as you straighten it out. One more on each side. Last one here. And finish strong. And relax. All right, you made it through the two strength blocks. We're still doing good on time. We are going to do a leg lower with a, a reach and a plank pull through, okay? So both of these are core based things, but we're adding a little extra into it, okay? Now I am going to use my jacket. So if you have a towel or anything like that for doing this workout, or if you have your band, this is where I would be using a band, but I'm gonna use my sweatshirt, okay? We're gonna get on our back, legs go up towards the sky. Leg lower position, arms go overhead. I'm creating tension here. Now I'm gonna lower one leg at a time and both arms reach up over my head as far as I can. As I bring my leg back up, my arms come back up. Down nice and slow, up and up. Good, down. Now, if you don't wanna add the arms in, that's fine. It's just adding an extra little pull. It's hard to get pulls in body weight exercise. So we're working on that here and core and legs and relax. Good. Just three. No big deal, right? Now keeping that band or in my case, a sweatshirt, we're going to roll over plank position. We're going to do a pull through. So with your band, hold the band with one hand in your plank position, squeeze the band on the other side, and you're just going to pull to the side. One at a time. Now, since I have a sweatshirt, I'm gonna put my hand on my sweatshirt here. I'm gonna grab this side of my sweatshirt, widen out my base so I'm nice and stable. And I'm just gonna pull some tension onto that sweatshirt. It's not gonna move, but I'm creating tension, straightening my arm using my core, okay? So we're gonna do five of these on each side. Ready, lock in and go. One, two, Three, try to keep your hips parallel to the floor. Four, five, good, switching sides. Lock in and go. One, two, three, four, five. Good, one more time with each core thing. And then we're gonna finish with our coach's challenge. All right, here we go. Leg lower position, get your core stability thing ready, whatever that might be, towel, jacket, band, create a little tension, leg lower position. We're gonna go four this time on each side. Now your foot does not have to touch the ground, right? It's just about getting that mobility, getting some strength in, nice stability. There's two. Three. And four. Nice, roll over, plank position. Finishing it out with that good pull through. Lock in, good position. Widen your base, keep your hips nice and flat and go. One, two, three, four, five, good, switch. Now you feel like you're not doing anything when you're pulling against something that doesn't move, but that tension you're creating is getting passed through. It's working, I promise. Here we go, lock in, widen out that base and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice. All right, get a quick drink. I'm gonna use my jacket to dry my face off. All right, coach's challenge. 
Now, just like we have done before, today is about our wall set. We're gonna do our wall set today. Now I have a timer going. We are going for 45 seconds today. 45 seconds times two. Okay, I'm gonna read you your quote. Yes, to prove that I have been working hard. There's some shine there, okay? So find a wall. If you don't have a wall, we're just gonna go into a low squat, but don't put our hands down on our knees so we can stay here, we can stay here. Low squat works. Wall sit works also. Arms up with your wall sit, okay? So I'm gonna sit against the wall, 45 seconds. We're gonna slide down, arms over our head or just down to our sides, but don't put them on our knees. We're 10 seconds in already. See, it's easy. All right, our quote for today. To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is a, the greatest accomplishment, right? So we're constantly bombarded by all kinds of things at work. It might be somebody that's doing the same project as you just in a different way and you get it brought to your attention. Could be social media, could be all kinds of things, emails, whatever it might be. But we gotta remember being yourself is the most important thing we can do. Go ahead and take a quick break. So please use some of those tips we've been talking about to stay true to who you are true to what your goals are, and keep moving in the direction you want to go in. Okay, accomplish your stuff. Be true to your heart, not everybody else's, right? Like we said last week, be the light in the darkness. It's important, okay? Bring a smile to somebody else's face. Don't let somebody else drag you down. Okay, round two, here we go. Get yourself set. We'll start in five seconds. Three, two, one, go ahead and sink down. Now, if you need to come up a little bit, that's okay. Arms go up over my head. I have nothing to cheat with this time because I'm not reading the paper. Nice deep breath. Remember, we're shooting for a minute and a half by the end of the month. So we're already 45 seconds by two in. Do what you can. If you have to come up, that's fine. We're about 15 seconds left. Nice deep breath. You're putting the work in, that's what's important, right? Even if it's a 30 seconds, you put the time in. The more time you spend, the more time on yourself, the better you'll feel, the better you'll move. Five seconds, you got this. And up, oh, these quads are on fire. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for coming. Thanks for helping me be better every day. Hopefully I'm helping you guys. Hopefully things are going well. If you wanna talk with me or any coach about how things are going, goals you might be setting from our tips of the day and stuff like that, please reach out. There's a thousand ways to reach me. I am Teams, uh, email, chat on here. We can always hook up after the meeting somehow. Okay, anyway, if you wanna go over some stuff, talk about goals, nutrition, anything like that, I can point you in the right direction. All right, guys, as always, thanks for being here. I promise I'll find a band for Thursday. For those of you that are disappointed I didn't use a band today, I'll make sure I have one or two just in case. All right, I look forward to seeing you guys on Thursday. As always, if I can help, let me know. Stay safe, stay healthy outside, keep moving, do little breaks here and there, take some of these movements, make them yours. Before I forget, let's give you the joke and what it was today. How do you stop a bull from charging? Yeah, cancel its credit card. Oh, so good. All right, guys, thank you very much. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll talk to you soon. That's it for today. Bye, guys.